we had the Freescale Technology Forum 2011, and uh, you have this new, what is this? This is the uh, Freescale Mechatronic Training Robot. It's a robot designed to teach software, to teach um, sensors, and to teach how to program microcontrollers. So it comes like this, in a kit, like yep, here? it comes in a kit. You open it up, you got to build the robot. You got pieces, legs, servos, control board, there's all the me uh, mechanics for the legs. So, so the whole stuff is here? It's almost a complete kit. It comes with everything except for the batteries. It even comes with screwdrivers and wrenches. So uh, what kind of batteries can you use? Oh, four AA batteries. There's four AA batteries right here. There's a, there's a battery loader, what you call it? Uh, yeah, a little battery holder right there. Holder. You can sort yeah. of see the batteries right there. All right. And uh, so since when is this uh, available? Uh, this was available, we first released this at Embedded System Conference, which would have been uh, May 1st. May 1st. And uh, so at the Freescale, you have these, before you had this tower system, yep. is that related? Yeah, as a matter of fact, you can see the, this board right here is actually what we call the tower mech board. You can actually buy this board separately, and as you can see, it is a tower board. It does plug into the tower system. It's got a cold fire 52259 on it. It's got the sensor. It's got another uh, holder for an additional sensor. And then it's got a um, touch sensor for the face and a uh, control up to eight servos. All right, so uh, you would connect USB and you would program it. How does it work? Yeah, so there's two ways to program it, actually. Let me actually go through here. So there's actually two ways to program it. Uh, one, you can program it using the cold fire tools. Oh, this is the definition of mechatronics. So as you can see, it combines sensors, actuators, mechanics, microcontrollers, and software. And that's the robot encompasses all that. Uh, it supports various sensors, including pressure, and, uh, oops, sorry, pressure and compass. So compass, pressure, and accelerometer. And there's all the details of the board. So you have all these uh, features right there all on that board. Features, yep. how, how much is one of these? Uh, this robot's $199. $199, you get a whole robot whole kit. kit. Yep, and the board by itself, if you just want the board with the sensor, is $99. $99? Yep. So uh, how many students have it so far? Uh, well, we've built a thousand. We sold 200 in the first month. Uh, so they're selling like hotcakes. We had 125 here. They're all gone. So uh, what do you do at Freescale? Uh, I'm a software engineer at Freescale. But uh, people call you the robot guru? I'm the robot expert. Yes. Expert? Yes. The robot all right. Expert. Why? I've uh, been doing robotics since I was eight years old. Uh, I write for Robot Magazine, and I write blog about robotics. You write for Robot Magazine? Yes, I write for Robot Magazine. So, uh, but you say 1,000, isn't it uh, the plan to have this as like uh, uh, hundreds of thousands all over the oh, world? Oh yeah, we'll, as we'll, make, we'll make more as people buy them. We're, we're actually looking at some deals with some big hobby shops, some big online hobby stores. Alright, can, can we see a little bit how you can yeah, sure. make it So work? I've got it plugged into USB. And uh, right now it's coal fire, you can have uh, the Kinetis as well? Yes, we're looking at doing the Kinetis as well. And uh, how soon? I don't know. It's you on the schedule, but I don't know when. Right. Actually, after the, the big success here at ESC, or at uh, FTF, oops, sorry, it's probably going to be relatively soon. i got to right. close this down because... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the Robot Vision Toolkit, which is this free toolkit you can get. It lets you program the robot using a very simple scripting language. It lets you do things like computer vision on the robot. It lets you access all the sensors. So the file is a .c? Yep, a .c file. What is the robot C? Robot C is actually a, a programming language I developed uh, as part of my master's degree. Uh, I don't have my master's, but I'm working on it. And the goal was, uh, I'm, my specialty is computer vision, and the goal was to create a language that lets people use computer vision easily. So I created this language called Robot C. When the robot idea came around, to do this for sensors, it just made natural sense to use this language. Because the language is so easy, my 10-year-old can program it. Really? Yes. So let's do the, um, the sound level. So let's just make sure the volume's on the way up. We're going to go ahead and run this. And then what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and it's going to calibrate. It takes a couple of seconds. And what it's doing now is it's calibrating according to a fourth of uh, 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 gravity force vector. So what it's doing is it's, if it's a little off tilt or whatever, it's calibrating that out. And you can see it going through its calibration process. 
And again, since this is for a training environment, this stuff is all drawn out. Right. Going into a lot of details. It's standing on the works. on the cable. That's no problem. Actually, it's going to calibrate that out. So no, that's no problem. So then once it's done calibrating, I can go ahead and pick it up. And as I move it, you can see it sort of becomes a level. See the face? I'm falling and I can't get up. And then if I move too far over one way or the other, I'm falling and I can't get up. You get a sound out of the... You activate some wave files? Yes, it supports the Robot Vision Toolkit supports wave files. It supports graphics. You can do 2D graphics. Where does the sound come out of? The sound's actually coming out of the computer. You don't have a speaker here. There's no speaker on there, no. We, we thought about that, but we didn't do it. Right. So that would be a, that's a relatively simple test. So let's go ahead and run one a little more interesting. We'll get it to balance on one leg. So, so up there and you can run? Yeah, just run. And then you can see how easy the software is. I mean, print statements, global variables, um, four next loops, go sub. It looks a lot like basic. But it's got some complex features too. For instance, it's got case switch. It's got the ability to do local variables. Idea is to keep it simple. So let's go ahead and run this. And now I'm going to turn on the robot and power up its servos. And he's going to go over on one leg. And then he's going to start balancing. So now he's balancing. And as you can see, as I, as I try to move him, you see he'll compensate. See him shaking? So he's going to go ahead and compensate. So as you can see, is if I move it, lift it up, you can see his foot moving to try to compensate for it. Nice. So how many different kind of things can you do with it? Uh, I've, got, I've only got seven or eight. There's seven or eight examples for this exact robot. There's about 30 examples in there for a robot C. Examples, what does that mean? Like when you get it, you get examples? Oh yeah, already? all these examples are built in. So, and there's about 20 examples that you can do without even having a robot. Just so if you want to experiment with things. And so, uh, you can download the whole bunch? Yeah, you download the whole thing for free off of... Um, here, let me... Um, so, you can download the whole thing for free off of uh, buildsmartrobots.com. Okay, or you can go to freescale.com neckbot and the downloads on the right hand side. So right here we're at um, uh, the, what do you call it, the Make It Challenge. Yep. Uh, what is that? The Make It Challenge is where we took, we got 100 robots and 100 tower kits, and the idea is to let, give them to people and let them design things. Let them come up with whatever they want, creative. It's just got to use the boards that we gave them. They can add whatever else they want. Only here during the FTF? Only here, 36 hours. It started yesterday at uh, 6 o'clock, and it goes till tomorrow at 4 o'clock. And 44, 24 hours, they can come in here or they, they, they work they in the hotel? They come in here, or? work on it in their hotel room. All the software is available online and they can build it. I mean, you can see we've got robots, we've got, there's a group over there who's adding arms yeah. to the robot. Can we go talk with the judges? Absolutely. So we have three celebrity judges, uh, Heather Knight, Anton Olson from Vex Robotics, who has donated quite a bit. So this all came from Vex Robotics. So uh, is, is a bunch of other, what do you call it, components? Oh, yeah, they, they make these really nice robotics kits. Uh, all right. They gave us all this nice metal, you know, all these gears. They brought in 40 motors, uh, some spare electronic stuff, you know, wire, stuff like that. All right. And then here, Anton okay. and Joe. All right. Hello. Hi. So what are you doing right now? Uh, right now I'm hacking on some code for the Freescale Tower LCD board. And uh, I've never messed around with it before and figured that sitting here at the Make It Lab would be a good place to do it. All right. So, and, and what are you doing? Yeah. I, I'm playing with, with the robot. You, That's more exciting. I saw you were making it walk and stuff. It, it, it does walk. Um, it's modified. <laughs> it's making it better, stronger. You added some of your uh, effects. Modifications there? Yep. I hatched some vex to, to make it walk with a little shuffle and fall over backwards. Yeah. That's cool. So, how, how are you going to judge the winners? Uh, how, um, what is it gonna, that's a real good question. Yeah. Well, the, you know, the, the whole point of this contest is for people to uh, just create really unique and innovative and fun and interesting things using Freescale technology. So, there's the two tracks there's the, the mechatronics robot tracks are using this platform. 
um, and also the tower system track, so using the, the new Kinetis modules and, and just other tower system peripherals. So really, the you know, there's no fixed criteria. It just ends up being you know something that's cool and something that uses free scale technologies and, and, and is challenging and, and is just neat. So that, you know, yeah, it's just it's what we I'd think is fun. Originality, yeah, in, in innovativeness or innovation, um, complexity. The harder something is, the more likely you know the higher it's going to score, especially in the short time frame. And uh, that's pretty much what I'm looking for. So, what are all these robots about? Having fun? What is it? Uh, running all technology? About having fun. Well, both. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, so right. So, robots yeah. are, are obviously about education. You know, from yeah. Anton's side, it, it is. Uh, more on the education side, right? And yeah. then for me, I don't normally deal with robots, so this this is just purely fun. But as you're having fun, you can learn about the technologies to use for other projects. So you know, this use the, this tower mech board on the FSL bot uses a, a Cold Fire MC F52 259, and you know that's something that maybe I'll use in a future project later. That's not robotic related, but maybe it's still something I'll use in my real engineering job. So you know, for me, it's just to experiment and learn, and then get you know some more skills in my toolbox. Can you figure it out as well? Uh, no. Not yet? Yes, he could. He, he could if he, he thought could. about it. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks a lot. So sure. check back uh, one day from now, a little bit more. And yep. Tomorrow winners. we're having the judges. We'll have the, these guys will be doing their judging at 4 o'clock. And uh, what, at 8 o'clock, I think it's being announced, the winner. Yep. About 8 yeah. to 8.15. About 8 o'clock, we the... announced the winner. And the winner gets a speed in the NASCAR? Yeah, so there's top top three for each track gets a um, one thousand, two thousand, and three thousand dollar cash prize, and then the grand prize winner gets a NASCAR weekend. NASCAR weekend, yeah, a serious. That's a seriously big prize. Cool. Thanks.